a very, very concerning, Preston. We're talking about 66 spent shell casings there at the park right before only about a week and a half before the start of Seafair weekend. Is a hot spot for Seafair becoming a hot bed for crime. Those are the worries after three people were shot here in the middle of Stan Sayers Park. Tons of Seattle PD showed up, uh, a lot of AMR showing up, and then they're trying to basically close the park and clear people out. According to Seattle police, several people fired guns at a pontoon boat docked near the park. The suspects sped off, but not before three people here had been hurt. Obviously, you want people that do stuff like that to be you know, handled and taken care of, so they're not out doing it again. This was the second major incident at Stan Sayers in only a matter of weeks. In late June, a shooting incident left two people hurt here, and now comes this latest case right before Seafair weekend. Generally, I had fit, felt safe down here. Um, that may change now, though, unfortunately. Como News checked the security plans for Seafair. According to Seattle Police, SPD will devote extra resources and extra officers for the event, including at Stan Sayers. That is in addition to federal help from organizations like the Coast Guard. Crime happens, but I think we'll be good for Seafair at least. All this as Seafair weekend kicks off Friday, August 2nd. Got to mention this, too. This is not the first time there has been trouble. In the first summer, there has been trouble there at Stan Sayers. A year ago, crime, rising crime, caused hours at the boat dock to be curtailed by four hours each day. So far, we checked with Parks and Rec and police. So far, there is no word on whether that will happen this summer. Coming to you live from Seattle tonight, Ryan Sims, come on in. Three people are hurt. Cars riddled with bullet holes after shots were fired at Stan Sayers Park. This comes ahead of the much anticipated Seafair weekend. Ryan Sims joins us live tonight. Ryan, what are police doing ahead of this to ease fears ahead of this weekend's events? It's just a wild situation that took place. Definitely is, and uh, definite fears, as you just mentioned, too. Uh, police are staying somewhat tight lipped on exactly what they are planning, exact plans of what's going to be happening going forward at Seafair, but they have confirmed that they're going to be adding dozens of additional resources, dozens of additional police officers throughout Seafair uh, to try to keep everyone safe, and those resources as you might imagine, are going to places like Stan Sayers, especially in the aftermath of what we saw over the weekend. And you mentioned it was a wild time, Preston. Really, really was. We're talking about a gun battle, uh, not really even late at night, about 7 p.m. on Saturday. We're talking about dozens of shots fired, so much so that when police kind of combed through the scene there, they found 66 spent shell casings there at Stan Sayers Park. There were families there at the time, people just kind of going about their day. And so this really, as you can imagine, was very, very concerning. Uh, and police also adding that it is just incredible that nobody was seriously hurt and no bystanders seriously hurt as a result of this. Now, immediately afterward, uh, the suspect sped off. So the hunt and the search is on for whoever fired uh, all those shots against six, 66 spent shell casings. Making things more worrying for the uh, people who go to Stan Sayers, though, Preston, is that this is actually the second time in only about three and a half weeks that an incident like that has happened. Late June, two people were shot there at Stan Sayers. They both survived and are expected to uh, be okay in the long run, but we're talking about five people shot there in the last month, all, again, in the lead-up to a very critical event like Seafair. So you better believe that we talked to people out there uh, today, people who plan to be there at Stan Sayers for uh, Seafair, and they say that this is really worrying, and they're calling on police to publicly kind of say just how many extra resources are going to be going there because of everything that's going, going on. For what it's worth, uh, we are talking about suspected gang violence, so this wasn't an instance an example in either case where it was uh, someone randomly being shot, someone randomly going about their day. It was not a random crime. Police in both cases say that they believe this was gang on gang crime. But again, you have it in a p place as public as Stan Sayers Park, especially with Seafair coming up, a lot of families. This is giving them room, as you might imagine, Preston, room for pause, uh, whether they want to go there in a few weeks for such a packed event where something, we hate to say it, but something could go wrong again, Preston. Well, sadly, Ryan, these problems, <laughs> they're not anything new. It's because there were also problems at Stan Sayers mm -hmm. Park last summer. This isn't a new issue. It's not a new issue. And, and talking about last summer, it's interesting you mentioned that. Uh, 
it seems like this summer is worse there, but last summer we did see rising crime, open air drug use was a problem there. There were violent incidents, a few of them. So the result of that last summer is that we saw park hours curtailed coming out of the summer. Um, those hours were only gonna be in effect for a few more weeks, but uh, parks and rec employees kind of nipped the bud, so to speak, and they, curtailed about four hours of open time from the boat ramp each day. So uh, by the end of, of when things stood, uh, the boat ramp was open four fewer hours each day because of rising crime, rising worries about everything going on there. We did ask Parks and Rec and police if they think that that's going to happen this time around, given everything that we saw so far anyway. No plans to curtail hours so far this time around, but we did see it and have seen it in the past, so you better believe that at least that type of scenario will be looked upon. Uh, heaven forbid we see another type of violent incident there in the next few weeks, Preston. Well, Ryan, hopefully police can be out there this weekend ahead of this, getting everything set up to make sure it's a safe and enjoyable time for everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thanks.